I just created this car racing game within a couple of minutes and today I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. But before diving into how we did the code, I want to show you what I used for it. I used this amazing ID and Cursor claimed that they are the best AI code editor and the best way to code using AI. And if you scroll on their website, you can see all of these amazing companies which actually endorse Cursor. And I just love how easy it is to use it and how easy it is to edit anything in Cursor. But you're going to see everything in action in a while. So before diving into the action part, we need to be clear about how much is it going to cost us. So let's go to the pricing. And if I scroll down, you can see that we have a free tier here which is more than enough for you to be a hobbyist and try different projects using Cursor. But later on, if you want to go with Pro or Business, it's really up to you. So for now, you can download this for Windows or other providers. But I have Windows, so I downloaded it for Windows. And that is how easy it is. You just have to sign up an account with them and you will be right here inside your cursor. And now that we have everything set, let's actually delete everything and recreate this game. So I'm just going to remove this, save the file and let's go and start building. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curb. This is your host Shimriz and we're finally getting to the fun part and creating our very own car racing game. But before diving into building this game, let me talk about some basics. So you have to say Control L or Command L on Mac to open up the chat and here you can interact with cursor. And if I zoom in a bit, I can show you that we have the Claude 3.5 Sonnet here, we have the GPT-40, O1 Mini, O1 Preview. So you can use all of these models for free as we're using the hobby tier of Cursor AI. One more thing that is really cool about it is that you can actually replicate everything from your previous ID. If you were using VS Code, Autumn, or any other IDE, you can replicate that. And we can pull up the terminal just like we used to do in VS Code. There you go. This is the terminal. So in this scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a game using Python and Pygame. And this is the NPC car and this is the player car. So we're going to make a game in which the player car moves vertically and you avoid the NPC cars which are these ones. So let's go and ask it to build that. And one more thing that you should keep in mind is that we're building a 2D game. So I'm going to say build a 2D car racing game in which the car keeps moving upward while avoiding the obstacles, which are actually the other cars on the road. That's it. Let's try with this basic prompt and later on we can add the images and the background. So there you go, you get the code. This is the code and I love how it actually have the clean code as well as it goes and explains what is happening inside this code. So the player's car is going to be represented by a red rectangle and the opponent's car is going to be represented by a black rectangle and the player can move left and right which is great and the game ends if the player collides with an obstacle car that's great and the score increases as the player survives longer cool so what we need to do is first we need to install this pi game module if you don't have it just copy it paste that inside your terminal and just hit enter and there you go i already had it so no need to do that now all you have to do is just go on top and apply now what this would do is it would apply everything to main.py which is this file here so yes continue and there you go and let me just minimize the explorer here so we have more space all right so what's happening is it's adding all the code right here the green part is the code that is being added and the red part will be the code that will be removed we will see that in a while so let's go and actually go on and accept everything to accept everything you can just use this shortcut which is Control shift plus y or you can just click here to accept everything or here to accept everything so i'm just gonna go and accept let's save this and let's actually run this now so there you go we have a cool game the score is being printed here on the terminal we don't want that we want the score to be shown on the game window as well as it should be real time and one more thing is we need to pause and ask the users to restart the game once they fail. So let's go and add these changes. So I want the game to have a restart button once the game is over. Also, I want to show the score in real time on the game screen. That's it. And there you go. Everything is generated for you. 
And if you scroll all the way down, you can see that what are the changes that are added. So there is a real-time score display. There is a restart game button once the game over screen appears. And there is reset function that was added and the game loop was modified. Great. Let's go all the way up and actually accept it. So I'm going to apply and continue. There you go. Everything is being applied. As you can see, the red part is being removed. The green part is being added. You can actually accept individual changes or you can accept everything by going here and accepting it. So I'm just going to go and accept everything. There you go. Let's save that. I'm going to run this and there you go. So we have the score on top. We have our car working. Let's crash it. So I'm just going to go and crash it in an obstacle. There you go. So we have game over and a restart button. If I restart, yes, I get I get a restart. So that's great. Let's close this. Now that we have the basic functionality working, what I have noticed is that our car actually moves outside the road. I don't want it to move outside the road or the obstacles to be outside the road. And let's go and add that. So the changes that I want is I don't want the cars to be outside the road. And let's just go and replace the rectangles with the actual images and replace the player car with the player car image that I have uploaded. As for the obstacles, replace them with the NPC car image that I have uploaded. There you go. So now it's going to go inside the folder structure here and look for these two images and it's going to add them inside the code. So let me close this. Let's go scroll all the way down and we can see the changes. There you go. Image loading. The images were added. We have the road boundaries now. We have the player car movement restricted, obstacle car spawning and driver cars. And I love the changes. Let's actually go and apply this. I'm just going to click here, continue. So it's going to apply everything. And once you're done applying, just accept it. Let's save this. And I'm going to run this again. So there you have it. You have your own car. You have the obstacle cars. That's great. Okay. I crashed with a car. So the game over looks fun. The restart is there. And the name is cool. The 2D car racing game. But now for the last thing that we want to do is we want to make a more realistic background image. So I'm going to try and ask Cursor AI to build that image for me. And let's see how it performs. So I'm going to say, can you create a moving background image for the road and we will use that instead of the current background let's try this and there you go it says certainly i'll create a moving background for the road to give an illusion of the car moving forward that's great let's go all the way down we can see what's being added so the road surface creation has been done we have the scrolling mechanism we have drawing the scrolling road and the background color which is great we also did something with the score display okay cool let's see so i'm gonna apply everything let's continue let's accept everything but before accepting i want to show you what was changed so we added this and we added this block in which we're actually creating the road service and if we go all the way down we added a few things but we removed the previous road which was this one this is cool let's accept i'm just gonna go and save this and run this all right this is really cool i mean i'm in love with cursor ai i love the road background i love the illusion of it being moving upward and i also love the whole game love it there you go you crashed and this is your score so you can restart the game again and again which is really cool so this is how easy it was to actually create this amazing game within just barely 10 minutes using cursor ai and i love this tool i mean this is just mind-blowing how easy it was for me to set up my project and actually work on everything i just had these two images and an empty file and i created a whole game out of this without any coding but i'm really curious if we can get sound effects so i'm just gonna go and ask this for curiosity's sake that if we can get a crashing sound so i'm gonna say so i'm gonna say can you create a crashing sound once the car hits the obstacle let's see if it works or not i'm really looking forward to this because if this works this is just mind-blowing oh it says certainly i'll add a crashing sound that plays when the players 
car collides with an obstacle but yep it cannot generate it we need to have this crash dot wav which will be the crashing sound and then it will work so this means that we can not create sounds but we can create images so that was quite good but now that we are talking about sound i really want to add that sound here so i went to 11 labs for the sound effect and i generated these sound effects car crashing with another car so let's check these out i'm gonna download all of these and see which one suits us best so i finalized this car crash sound and one more thing that i want to make sure that it's too loud so i want to keep the volume intensity a bit low so let's go and add that so i'm gonna say add the car crash sound that i have uploaded for the collusion noise and keep the volume intensity up to 40 percent and that is enough i guess let's hit enter there you go it's uploading and yep it's updating there you go let's apply everything let's continue so let's actually go and accept this let's save everything and let's go and run this now there you go and there you go we have the sound now this means that you have unlimited flexibility with how you want your game to be. You can add the sound effects, you can add the background images, you can even go on and design this a bit more, you can have more motion dynamics, it's really up to you. But the main purpose of this video was to see how good and powerful Cursor AI is. And yep, the point is proven and it is quite clear that how powerful it is. I really loved using Cursor AI and I mean, although we will have limited usage, but still it is mind blowing how they are offering all these models inside it for free. And with that said, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video was valuable. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.